Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Ripple Effect. Today we're going to be doing a couple of odd things. Um, and one big one, hopefully, if we have time. First thing I want to show off is down here in my spare time, I have been working on this. I actually recorded this, so I actually had an entire episode down here, re done, ready to go. And I had a hard drive fail on me. Um, it's an older hard drive that I originally took out of a PC that I put in another PC that I finally put in this PC and its only job was to store video files and it, it died. I usually make duplicates on an external hard drive but since I just got back from the move everything's not still fully set up so it's my fault that's why this episode was coming out late it should have gone out on Sunday a loud truck behind me thank you dude um but yeah so i want to go ahead and show this off it's not done yet this is going to go to a mining sector and this is going to be the little minecart rail and obviously i still got this little area to do but this is where i stopped when the episode uh went bye bye so we're going to go ahead and head upstairs real quick because there's some other stuff I want to show you that I just noticed today as I signed on. So, hop up here. And down here, I was like, what the heck is this? So this is our uh, April uh, loot chest. I think that's what uh, Omni's calling them. Lots of good stuff. These are not diamonds though. These are crystal eggs. Um, I'm not going to read the book out loud, but I'll tell you what's going on. So, we're having an Easter egg hunt, and everyone needs to hide two eggs in their base. Now, it says in your base, so I'm not going to go outside of my base. Because uh, originally I was like, oh, I could just take them way out, you know, near Edna or whatever, and be like, bam, hidden. But I'm not going to do that. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do one... Uh, in a kind of obvious area and then one in a not so obvious area so yeah hopefully that'll be a little bit of fun but while I'm hiding these Easter eggs because I don't want to show you guys where they're at I did some recording with decoy he's gonna work on our embassy doorbell and I'm gonna let you guys watch that while I hide these eggs and then we'll come right back yeah I think I've read it since I made it so I'm not sure what's in there Some things about tacos and uh, oh, yeah. going with uh, with the terrain, not flattening things out. Yeah. Not winging it, not building in creative first. I like it. Yeah, I don't like building twice. I'm lazy. I'm the same. And, uh, it is different to buy, uh, build it in your actual world than to do it in the greater world anyway yeah seem to always change things yeah if i were to do something creative i would constantly be like nitpicking and trying to make it absolutely perfect because you have the freedom of the creative world whereas exactly. in survival it's just like at some point you're like oh, i'm done here i can't take anymore it's yeah. good enough yeah. It's uh, it's limiting, and I think that's <laughs> that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. That's why I only play survival. I thought about doing like a creative series, but mm. I don't think I can do it. Right, I'm like running around, oh. placing all these trapdoors. <laughs> I want jungle lanterns. Yeah, they're awesome. And you want a doorbell. I do I want heard. a doorbell. Um, all these embassies, every time I go in to shop, they have fancy doorbells when you open the door. <laughs> and all I've got is kachugas. See? Kachugas. It's, it's spreading, man. Yeah. The doorbells. And mm -hmm. you have a great uh, intro song. Right, and I was gonna tell you if the intro song is too long, because I think it's like 11 seconds or something like that. Uh, you could split it in half, where 
the uh, Duds Versus rotates into the ripple effect. Because mm -hmm. that's where it really picks up. Um, yeah, yeah. When the, that brass uh, section, the trumpets and mm -hmm. that, that melody. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that section, right? Mm -hmm. I yeah, I think that's the that's the perfect length. Yeah, I was really happy with that because originally there was a different song slated to be the intro. Mm -hmm. Um, and then at the last second, I heard that. Oh crap! Someone's at the door. Oh, <laughs> right back. The real doorbell. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I have just finished this area up right here. It's nothing special. <laughs> because it, I mean, this is basically a mining corridor. So I haven't really touched this section yet, but this kind of works. It's not great. It's not symmetrical, but it's done. We have the zombie grinder down here. Why am I here, like, drowned? Maybe I was just hearing things, but yeah, so we got the zombie grinder and like I said, I'm gonna branch out for my uh, Mining tunnels what we got a name over there down that way. It's still got to go down a little bit. Yeah, we're on 33 So we need to go down a little ways But yeah, so that's gonna end that now and I think what I want to really work on this episode is finishing up the bridge to our tree cutting area um that hasn't really been touched since we put the walkway in. We've got the back gate done, but it's not enough. We need some more. So I'm gonna pack all this stuff up, go up to the surface and get some supplies. Then we'll work on that bridge. Okay, so I'm down here under the bridge. I've started a little bit. Um, I was trying to get the pillars up that will hold the main part of the bridge. And then we'll kind of do this little arc or arch, whatever you want to call it. These are too small. Um, I put one in place first. And I don't like it. I think I need to get the archway in first. And depending on how that looks, then build the pillars accordingly. Um, it shouldn't be too hard. I just need to play around with it a little bit. But I wanted to let you guys know where I am now. So let me get some work on this curve. And then I'll bring you guys back when we have uh, pillars getting ready to go up. Okay guys, I have my curve all planned out and I've started on this pillar. Actually, I kind of already have it done. All I really did was just expand the original design out one. Um, originally behind these half slabs, I was going to put gray concrete. Uh, concrete's kind of expensive, especially for something that's probably never going to get seen. So I just went with more half slabs. I might change it up and maybe put like, I don't know, a different block behind it, maybe cobblestone, so you can definitely tell the difference and everything like that. But that's the design we're going for. On the inside, it is the same design, but just obviously uh, shorter. So it's a really simple, simple design. But I wasn't going for anything complex. I just needed something that looks sturdy. And I think this... I think this gives it that sturdy look. I'm also thinking about raising the water level of this river up. Yeah, it's getting night, and this area is not well lit, so I'm gonna get over here and try to sleep. Yeah, raising that water level up. I think that would be uh, pretty cool. Maybe raise it to maybe right under there, because that's where the pillar stops. So if we raise it to maybe right there, it could be really cool, it could be a fun project. Um, might be a good stream project, but yeah, let me sleep. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get some more of this done and then I'll bring you guys back. Okay, so I've got the uh arch as I <laughs> keep bouncing back and forth between arc and arch, and and I think it looks pretty good. Um, I went ahead and did a little bit of terraforming to kind of fix where the bridge didn't exactly meet up with the ground. I think we're good there. I'm going to start adding some leaves. So like this spot right here and this spot right here are really plain. But I'm thinking about just having some leaves and vines hanging down to give it some more decrepit look. Um, let's get some pillar blocks real quick. 
Sorry for all the clicking you guys are probably hearing. Like I said, I'm working on my sound. Oh, hello, zombie. I think I saw a creeper on the other side, too. Yeah, the server is lagging something major. And uh, it, it's not been fun this morning. Flight is out of the question. And obviously killing mobs is also out of the question. So we're just going to try to not die. And not cough in your ear. So yeah, let's try to get some of these leaves. Now what I did over there is I kind of broke out a couple blocks. Maybe let's do something like that. Now it means we're probably going to have to get into the bridge and put something behind these leaves. So you just don't see straight up in there. Um, I want to get up to here. And let's do this. Not that way. That's the other thing. You break a block and because of such lag, there's a chance it's just going to go all the way down. You're not going to actually grab it. That might actually look pretty good. Let's... I'm going to leave this here. Let's head over this way. This is my little viewing area. Yeah, I like that. I think that's going to look really good. So, I'm going to try to do another one on the other side and maybe bring in some vines. I think I need to bring it up a little bit right there. But yeah, I'm going to do one there. Tweak this one just a little bit. Maybe have some on the uh, undercarriage. I don't want to do a ton, but I think those little details should hopefully kind of finish up the structure of the bridge itself. And then we can maybe move on to something else. Okay, as soon as I hit the record button, my dogs decided to walk around. Hey, Seuss, lay down. Jeez, crazy dog. But yeah, so I've got some leaves in. I think it looks pretty good. I think it is pretty good. Um, I want to throw some more ideas with you guys. We talked about... Suze, come on now. Jeez. Um, we talked about raising the water level up. And I still want to go with that. I think I'm going to do that on a live stream. That's going to be a lot of grind work. Also, what I want to do is get rid of this iron farm. Uh, originally I had planned to kind of incorporate the iron farm, but I don't think it's really worth it. Um, now that being said, I still want an iron farm, even though I think I'm overflowing in iron right now. So my plot, plot, my plans are to rebuild this guy up there in maybe a hot air balloon um, but not like our typical hot air balloon maybe a uh, first attempt hot air balloon in medieval times or something like that but yeah that's my plans for kind of this area I still need to do some more terraforming around here we need to do some texturing on that but like I said god I'm ready for this cold to go away I'm so tired of coughing but yes, now that I'm moved and getting settled in, I'm going to be streaming more and stuff like that's going to get done on stream. Alright, actually I think I changed my mind. There's something I wanted to do. So, we were using kelp blocks behind half slabs for that bridge. I'm thinking it could kind of be cool to incorporate it in our base and other spots. Um, since we do use green a lot, uh, but it's usually this dark prismarine. But if we're putting it behind blocks already, I mean, might as well use this kelp. Let's see how this looks. Um, let's just do this so we're not wasting blocks some more. Yeah, that's not that bad. And it gets a good uh, stark contrast from over here. I like that. We might have to use that more in the base in some spots, but yeah, that that's definitely the way to go. 
But guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. If you can't tell, I can't stop coughing. So recording's been a real pain in my rear end. Plus, I'm like two weeks late on this episode because I lost a hard drive. And I wasn't recording for a couple days when I didn't feel good. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget the notification bell. Like always, guys, say hi to Avni. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a good one. See you.